Hello. Regarding the uh, fundamental reality of nature, my motto is that uh, if it is not both extremely beautiful and extremely simple, it is utterly impossible for it to be true. Um, I'll be giving a lecture at the Science and Energy Conference. The uh, link is below. I'm not making a single dime. A, a lot of people have already uh, got me plane tickets and uh, reservations uh, to fly out in the first week of July. I'm told that my 90-minute lecture is uh, mostly booked up um, because there's only so many people that you can sit in a particular location due to uh, fire code regulations, I believe. But uh, I'll be uh, discussing within the 90 minutes, which is insufficient since I could go on endlessly about one particular aspect of uh, field theory and magnetism and light uh, within 90 minutes. But uh, just because something simple doesn't mean it is simplex but specifically referring to uh, discussions that I've not made videos on within 4,700 videos regarding the conjugate nature of reality, fundamentally what is polarity, geomagnetic precession, discussing and uh, illuminating point non-specific incommensurability or field incommensurability. Um, specifically also, uh, at first, within the first 20 minutes, the uh, conjugate nature of magnetism and dielectricity. Um, or as the ancient Greeks would have referred to it as a prohodos and epistroph. Um, specifically, everything being force in motion, inertia and acceleration. Everything determinable by capacitance, resistance, magnetic permeability and dielectric permittivity. I will, uh, within the 90 minutes, encapsulate many things that have heretofore not discussed for particular reasons since they would be found within the fourth edition of my book, which is not out, out yet because everybody keeps asking me that. but. Uh, I wanted to uh, make this video and uh, been doing a lot of writing as well as meditating this evening and uh, actually constructing and destructing fields and field interactions within my mind. I hope that doesn't sound too abstruse, but that's literally what I was doing. Um, everything is incredibly simple, but it is not simplex, but pressure mediation and divine simplicity is certainly uh, evident and apparent. Also, too, I will be uh, spending 30 minutes since magnetism is a fundamental and the absolute force within uh, nature and the cosmos from macrocosmic to microcosmic since all volume and mass and magnitude is due solely to magnetism. Uh, discussing specifically the nature of light and uh, dispelling a wave particle duality nonsense and uh, understanding constructive and destructive interference and phase disparity, uh, especially, specifically also pertaining to misconceptions about light being either particle or wave, since waves do not exist. They are a conceptual abstraction created uh, by human consciousness to refer to things in action, and certainly so not a uh, particle. So the notion of wave-particle duality, discussing whether light is a particle or a wave, is purely the, uh, the ruminations of, uh, of simple, superficial, and unintelligent minds that are unable to grasp that uh, waves do not exist. Waves are not things. Things are uh, waving. But what is waving? Certainly so not particles. So light is neither a particle nor a wave. So discussing whether it's a wave or a particle Either one or the other or both is, is a fool's errand, is a, a debate for idiots. It's like one idiot debating uh, which demigod is more real than the other. I mean, the foregone conclusion that, you know, both are idiots. And, uh, of course, this is what we encounter within the uh, cult of atomism. And, of course, nature fundamentally to be both beautiful and simplex cannot be enjoined particle fantasies, but uh, I only have 90 minutes, but encapsulating that will be both easy and complex, but I mean, I could do it right now, so I don't need until July to accomplish that, accomplish that goal. I'm told that the hall is mostly booked up, as I said, and they'll be discussing a lot of things that are not found within any video that I made or the current third edition, and uh, I will be painting a picture that uh, fundamentally describes every aspect of observed phenomena regarding light, dielectricity, and magnetism, both in simplex and uh, beautiful uh, denotation. 
connotation is encapsulation of comprehension of what is going on, why things must be the way they are. And herein is another ancient Greek word which is impossible to translate. That would be anake. Um, a very interesting word that's absolutely impossible to translate. But uh, I'll accomplish it with ease and uh, I might see you there. But like I said, I'm not making anything at the uh, conference. And uh, while I'm being flown out and uh, staying in a hotel, I'm not charging anything. The people that organize it and pay for the hotel are, but none of those proceeds go to me. So this is not a money-making endeavor on my part whatsoever. Thank you, and have a lovely Easter weekend. Lux eretas.